Hi, I'm Chris Gold with Geeks On Tour, and I am on a cruise ship that just completed coming across the Panama Canal from the Atlantic to the Pacific. Just the first set of locks, which was three chambers, took over an hour, maybe an hour and a half, to complete, and I wanted to get a video of that. How do you get that so that it's condensed? I use the time-lapse setting on my phone, and then I put it together using ClipChamp. I want to show you the ClipChamp video editor. I want to show you how I did that. And first, you have to watch the video that was the result of, that, of my efforts. Notice that this isn't all video. These are still shots, but there's still motion because it's zooming in to a point in the distance. Now here is actually a video that I took with my phone using the time lapse feature, which speeds it up. But then I speeded it up even more once I got it into ClipChamp. Also notice the titles. That is a feature of ClipChamp. Here's another still shot, but it's zooming in, so it gives some motion. So it's ClipChamp that puts it all together. The stills, the videos, the titles, and the music. I'm going to show you how. First, let me show you where the options are on the Samsung, Android, and on the iPhone. So here's my Samsung. You open the camera, and there's an option called More. When you go to More, you're going to see all sorts of things, including slow motion, hyperlapse, and super slow motion. If you then tap slow motion, now your shutter button looks a little bit different. You'd tap it once to start recording, and you'd tap it again to stop. Fast motion, same thing. It's on more. It's called hyperlapse. There are some options up here, but I don't mess with those. You tap it once to start it recording. You'll watch the little timer up here. You tap it again to stop. On the iPhone, it's even easier. Open the camera, and you will find both slow-mo and time lapse, that's the fast one, right on the main menu. At the Panama Canal, I used my Samsung. You open the camera, tap more, then choose hyperlapse. You tap the red button to start it, and it turns into a white square. Now watch the times go along on the top, and also watch that horizontal bar in the middle. See how it's white? That means I'm slightly off level, and it would alert me to the fact that I needed to change the angle of the phone. When it turns yellow, you know that you are level. Then you have to brace your phone somehow. If you have a tripod, that's great. I did not. I just rested it on a railing and then hold it as still as I could. Notice the numbers in the red. It's at 35 on the elapsed time on the right, but only two seconds on the recorded time. So that's for every 15, 20 seconds of elapsed time, it's just recording one. This takes a while. I would stop it, you know, wiggle my fingers and then start again, knowing I would put it together in ClipChamp later. So here I am in ClipChamp video editor, part of Windows. For a basic tutorial on using ClipChamp, refer back to Fun with Photos number 21. So here is that one video that was taken with time lapse, and I think it's still too slow. I can speed it up in ClipChamp. I'm going to pause. 
with this right side menu item, I click on speed and I played around with this and I decided I want it to go all the way up to four times faster than it was playing. Let's take a look. Yes, that is speeded up enough to really show what's going on. Next, I'm going to add a photo. And for the photo, I don't want it to be just static. I want it to zoom in. And that's considered an effect. Effects over at the right-hand side here. With the photo selected on the timeline, I click on slow zoom. Notice it turns purple. And let's see what that did. See how it just zooms it in to, to the center. I can zoom it to the top by clicking on that square. Then just two more things I want to show you. One is transitions. So in between this video and that photo, rather than just a cut, I like crossfade. I just click on transitions, drag crossfade down to in between those two. And now when it transitions from the video to the photo, you see the crossfade. And the last thing is titles. I click on text and choose, I liked this double lines one. I click the plus. I click the plus and notice that it has gone on a different line of the timeline. I want to drag it over so that it will show up during the video and the photo, then I change the text. That's over at the right hand side where all the properties are, and I type Gatun Locks. Then I can move it to where I want. I could resize it over here, whatever I want. And that is the basics of how I created that video. You may want to add a finishing touch by adding some music. To do that, you click on the content library, choose audio, and then the clip champ selections. You can listen to a little taste by clicking the play button. And when you find one you like, you click the plus and it gets added to your timeline. Now, if it's a different length than your video, you can find the end and trim it back. You can also trim it from the front and then put it into place. And here's the finished results. When you like what you see, you click Export, choose your quality, and when it's done, you will find it in your Downloads folder. Have fun!